tutorated. There are words. And then there are SAT words. And there are people who use SAT words. But for the most part, SAT words are only used on the SAT. And since you're taking the SAT, it's your job to learn them. Now it's time for a 10 second segment I call How Not to Learn Vocabulary Words. <coughs> Number one, plan to learn 2,000 words. Scientists have proven that the probability of accomplishing a task that big is approximately zero. Number two, memorize a one word synonym and nothing else. If you don't have a mnemonic device, a, a way to remember each word, there is no way you'll be able to keep indigent straight from indignant. Now, here's how you actually do learn vocabulary. Number one, learn a little bit each day, say between three and five words. It'll add up very quickly. Number two, study vocab at the same time each day. At breakfast, before you start your homework, before bedtime, keep it consistent. You are much more likely to get the job done that way. Number three, use Tutor Ted's SAT vocabulary flashcards. I chose words that are likely to appear on the SAT, not just words that have appeared on past tests, but words that are likely to appear on future ones as well. Plus, every single one of my cards has a hint to help you memorize the word. They're meant to be funny, and some of them actually are. They're available through Amazon and on my website, tutorted.com. So go start learning words. And feel free to use these words in conversation with your friends. Just don't be surprised if they slap you. <laughs>